and this is Mark Johnson from the Australian Missionary News. I have here with me today David McDowell, The Drowning Man. Here's the book, The Drowning Man. And we're going to hear a, a David McDowell story of The Drowning Man. David, first of all, uh, tell us something about your background. My background, I was born in Victoria and uh, I moved up here in my early to late teens. Up here means where? To Queensland. Yes. On the Gold Coast uh, to do some um, semi-professional surfing. And um, I only come up here to, for a year and um, didn't end up going back. Right. <laughs> now, um, in your book, you talk about a specific occasion where you went to the surf. Now, can you tell us about that at a place called Snapper Rock? Yeah, in 1993, uh, March 13th, I went for a surf at uh, Snapper Rocks. And um, surf was about three to five feet. Uh, bigger sets, about six foot, six, seven foot. And um, just pelling around there and ended up having a severe accident where I had a severe spinal contusion, which is as bad as a, a break. And um, ended up in Tweed Hospital at first. Now tell me, a contusion, who else has had one of those? Uh, Christopher Reeve. Ah, so... so. Afterwards, um, recuperating in the hospital, I was, um, that was quite hard to deal with. I, um, I was meant to be in the hospital for up to eight months to a year, but ended up being in for about 10 days after crying out to God in, in the hospital. Now, you, you had already uh, been a Christian? Yes, for about seven years. And so it means uh, uh, you were able to cry out to, uh, to the Lord uh, knowing that he'd he, he hear your prayer or what? Yes, yes, definitely. I was, I was hoping that he would answer me. Yes, sure. <laughs> and he, he certainly did, yes. He, so tell us about that. Um, I'd been in hospital for about seven days at that point of time and I'd had um, some other patients coming in and telling me how they were going to suicide. Um, wow. So there were probably around 20 of them. And I just cried out to God one morning and just said, if you don't get me out of here, I'm going to go the same way because mm. it was affecting me emotionally and mentally. Sure, sure. And um, early that morning, one of the nurses came in and, and they used to either lift me up and change the bed sheets or uh, roll me over. And jokingly, she just said to me, uh, move your legs so I can change the sheets. And I thought about it and my legs moved. Wonderful! <laughs> 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 and then what happened? Um, she dropped the bed sheets and ran out of the room and I thought I'd done something wrong. <laughs> and I had the top neurosurgeon in Queensland looking after me as well as a, a top team of them and they all come running down and because the day before they diagnosed me with um, too much damage and yes. I'd, they actually told me I'd never walk again. Oh. So, oh. And then how long did it take you to get back on your feet? Um, I was walking that afternoon. The, the doctor uh, came in and couldn't understand why I was walking. He was, he was dumbfounded. But um, I had a friend who was ringing up every day leaving messages that she had um, a certain amount of churches praying for me. So oh, that was, wonderful. And so when yes. I was confronted with that, I think it sort of spooked him a bit. And yes, yes, yes. Good. Now... Just let me out of hospital within a couple of days and, and just said, well, we don't know what to do with you because we can't understand what's happening. Yes. <laughs> and so I rehabilitated myself by swimming in the ocean and um, swimming down the pool and and just walking every day and, and getting my strength back. Now folks, yeah, a, a, a drowning man here, but it's only half the story. You went back on uh, one occasion, back into the water, and then what happened? Um, I had another accident. Um, I'd, I was surfing at 13th Avenue at Palm Beach on the Gold Coast and had a good little surf. I was feeling quite good that day and, and um, got out of the water and met up with a mate and he coaxed me back into the water for another couple of waves because we hadn't seen each other for a long time. And my first wave back in, the, um, the wave closed out and my board shot from underneath me. I was um, 
uh, flying down the line in an incredible amount of speed and and the board yeah flying down the board shot out from underneath me and the fin ended up digging into my um, right leg and tearing a um, a huge hole in it oh and so again uh, 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 somebody rescued you eventually <laughs> I was um, I thought I'd only cork my leg because I didn't feel it was that quick yes yes and um, I ended up laying in about two inches of water and uh, I reached around and my hand disappeared into my leg and I Ugh. grabbed the bone of my leg. Ugh. And so was there lots of blood about? Not a whole lot, no. No, I was quite surprised and, and um, I was laying there in quite a lot of pain and, and uh, a few seagulls were trying to take off with the huge <laughs> bit of um, <laughs> flesh and meat that was hanging out of my leg. And so <laughs> then are you a... Uh, 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 again rushed to hospital? Yes. I was taken down to the Tweed Hospital once again. Yes. And uh, they'd known me by name by now. <laughs> 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 and um, they told me my leg was um, never going to straighten up again. And they ended up taking a huge chunk of meat out of my leg of uh, muscle and sinew, which is the size of a fist and it left a gaping hole and um, about 20, 30 stitches in my leg. And so, uh, 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 has your leg healed now? Yes, I, I ended up, um, I was on crutches and um, I ended up getting golden staff. Oh. And so, what the doctor didn't tell me, I wasn't, um, my reading was off the chart and he didn't tell me I wasn't going to live the weekend. Mm. And until I went back on the Monday after getting my pastor to pray for me mm. and my leg straightened up on its own, and I walked outside with my crutches in my hand and, and had a cup of tea. <laughs> now, so what can you tell all the people who do watch this about faith in the Lord Jesus? Well, he's been, it's an incredible thing to have. Um, the understanding and, and the relationship and knowledge of God there that in impossible situations that you do have God to call out to and as I was in the water uh, that day and and uh, with both accidents um, the first thought in my mind was to cry out to God folks here's the book uh, uh, drowning man uh, just be sure to get your copy it's a fantastic read and a wonderful gift now this is Mark Tronson signing off for the Australian Missionary News with David McDowell, the author of Drowning Man.